Really good. Really good? You like it? Yeah, delicious. Good. And we're back with another episode of Next Drift. This is going to be one of our favorite recipes, a blackfish clam chowder, New England style. And it's absolutely delicious. And the main star of the show is this right here, blackfish. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need some good thick cut bacon, extra thick cut bacon, some onions, some butter, uh, seasonings, clam juice, chicken stock, potatoes, blackfish, and some clams, chopped clams, half and half, some heavy cream. The blackfish here is what's going to be the, uh, the main ingredient. Uh, you can see here the potatoes, they're kind of diced up in the cubes, some chicken stock, some clam juice, uh, seasonings, onions, butter, and the bacon. And uh, we're going to go through all of it. We're going to show you exactly how to make this. It, it's amazing. comes out really well. Um, it tastes really good. And uh, everybody should like it. So let's start. So here's everything you're going to need. Pretty simple stuff. Nothing too complicated. First thing you need is one yellow onion chopped up. Not too big, not too small. A stick of unsalted butter. You're going to need this throughout the recipe. Your seasonings, garlic, parsley, salt, pepper, thyme, Old Bay. Potatoes, three cups white potatoes. Make sure you peel them or else it's gross. Going to need uh, two to three uh, blackfish fillets. Catch them like I do. They're always pretty big. You don't need as many. Two cups of, cl of chopped clams and uh, one cup heavy cream and half and half. You're also going to need uh, one to two cups of chicken stock. And you're also going to need four to five cups of clam juice. This makes it really awesome. And the biggest thing, other than the blackfish, is the thick-cut bacon. So get yourself a decent-sized pot and uh, stick a pat of butter in there before you put the bacon in. That's going to keep it from getting crispy. We don't want the bacon crispy. That's uh, one thing that we definitely don't want. Um, we don't want it undercooked, but we also don't want it too crispy. Then we'll add in our thick cut bacon. This is really good bacon. Get the best bacon you can afford to buy. Try to stay away from that uh, generic crappy bacon. It's going to make a big difference. Get into the pot, get it broken up, and uh, you're going to want to let this sit. Once it's done, um, kind of pretty cooked, but not crispy, we're going to take it out of the pot and... Uh, Put it on a plate with some paper towels and uh, just kind of set this off to the side. Um, we just don't want it overcooking. That's the only reason we're doing this. And uh, we'll put that over here. And then we'll add in our onions. We left all of the uh, bacon grease in the pan. That's going to give a good flavor. And we'll mix our onions around. Also, you know, we don't want to get these too brown, just kind of uh, transparent and uh, kind of get that uh, bitter taste out of them. And we'll let that sit for a little while. Turn the heat down. And uh, then we're going to add in our garlic and Old Bay seasoning. Um, don't want to put the garlic in too soon because it'll burn. We'll put in our Old Bay, which has got some different spices in there and mostly salt. MSG probably, but who the hell cares. We'll mix that around. Let it sit. Like I said, don't let it get... Uh, don't let the onions get too overcooked. Once these are kind of uh, where you want them and uh, they're cooked through and uh, transparent, that's when we're going to uh, put the bacon back into the pan. As you can see here, let's kind of scrape it off. You get yourself one of these, uh, they call them spiders, these little strainer things. They're pretty, pretty awesome. We just got this one and uh, that'll do just fine. And we'll just get this mixed around just like this and um, kind of let it all have a happy gathering in this in the pot. It's a good base to start the uh, chowder off in. And uh, as you can see, it looks good. It smells really good, too. Makes the house smell really good uh, when it's cooking like this. Once this is all done, again, the heat's not too high. We want to kind of um, just let it sit here. and. Um, the next thing what we're going to do is um, 
we're going to add in some uh, next ingredients. Um, one thing you're going to want to do is get yourself a small uh, frying pan, put in some butter, let this sit off to the side, keep it on low heat, let the uh, let the butter melt, and we'll show you what we're going to do with that in a second. Then we're going to add in our chicken stock. You can add in, started with a cup, we can always add more. And then our clam juice. Get some good clam juice. Um, you're going to need a bit. They sell it in uh, big cans, but um, we'll get that in here, get it up to temperature, and let it sit for a little while. Once this is uh, brought up to temperature and everything's kind of mixed in well, it's time to add our potatoes. And uh, make sure, like I said, make sure you peel the potatoes and wash them. Uh, potato skin's really gross. Nobody likes nobody likes that. Um, I've cut these potatoes up uh, all about the same size. After that, we're going to add in the rest of our uh, seasoning, parsley, uh, salt, pepper, all that good stuff. The thyme was in there, and uh, that makes um, that makes uh, the soup really the base of it. Now, here's where that butter comes in. This is called a roux, and this is going to help thicken the soup. So we want to add some uh, flour into this butter, and you want to have equal parts. So one to one, we'll kind of put it in here. And basically what we want to do is get this uh, cooked down and get rid of that floury taste. And uh, it'll kind of brown and turn into almost like a dough um, if, the, if it's mixed right, the portions are equal. If not... And it's looking a little thin. Just add some more flour in like I did here. And uh, you'll see how this will pretty much right away kind of turn into a, uh, almost like a paste. And let this cook for eh, two minutes, three minutes, something like that. And uh, you'll see it'll kind of come together. And uh, then we're going to add this into our, uh, our soup. And that's going to help thicken it up. Um, I'll kind of bring it all together and give it a, Give it a nice texture. Um, one of the things you want to do is add some of your broth from the pot into your roux, and that helps uh, keep it from um, clumping together and getting lumps in it. And uh, we'll just kind of mix that in like this, and we'll dump the whole thing um, right into our soup pot. So now you just want to stir this in and uh, let it sit for a little while. Let it kind of come up to a simmer, and the best thing to do is while you're waiting, is pour yourself a beer, put your favorite fishing show on, and uh, get yourself a little snack. Don't hate if you've never tried it. Don't knock it. Next step is going to be to add the cream, and the cream is what makes it good. We're going to pour in this whole uh, container of heavy cream, and um, we'll put about a quarter quarter of this container of half and half i don't like putting uh, all heavy cream it makes it a little too dense and we'll mix it up and uh, you're going to want to uh, turn this down to a simmer uh, on low let it sit for about 10 minutes 15 minutes something like that and um, it'll uh, kind of evaporate some of the water and it'll also help thicken it up a little bit next step is to uh, add your blackfish and unfortunately i didn't get that footage Thought it was recording, but it wasn't. But you don't really need to see a picture of me pouring it into a pot. And then after that, about uh, five, ten minutes later, it's time to add the clams. You want to put these in last or else they get uh, really chewy and gummy. And uh, unless you like watching your family gnaw on something rubbery, um, you want to put them in last. And it keeps them nice and tender. And uh, that is really it for this entire chowder. It's pretty simple. We'll let this sit for another eh, five or ten minutes or so. And uh, you can cook this a day or two ahead of time. and uh, But that's not going to happen in our case. So we'll let this sit. We'll mix it around. Let it sit. And uh, we'll be ready to serve it. Now, if you get ambitious, I, uh, I like bread. We all love bread. So I uh, made a quick loaf of uh, French bread or Italian bread, whatever you like. Um, this was staged, obviously. I'd already cut into it and sure it was cooked. Damn, that's hot. But it's nice and crispy. And hot. Once you're done uh, 
burning your fingers, it's time to uh, serve it up. Put it in some bowls. It's good and chunky. Um, the broth isn't uh, isn't too thick. I don't like it real thick, but I also don't like it watery. So it's kind of in between. And as you can see here, serve it with some nice uh, nice bread, and everybody loves it. That's going to do it for this episode of Next Drift. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, uh, we'll see you soon. Hopefully you get to do this recipe. Leave some comments. Let us know what you think. Maybe share some of yours. But uh, again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. Take care, everybody.